This do-it-yourself tutorial covers the basic installation of this multi-purpose solar DC microgrid system by Specialized Solar Systems. Unpack all the components and place them on a flat, dry surface. Check that all components are present. Read the manual carefully for the overview of the safety instructions. Find a flat, firm area on the wall, centrally located, and allow the correct amount of height to allow enough distance between the battery box and the DB board. Firmly secure the DB box to the wall using the screws provided. You may need to drill pilot holes in order to do this. Make sure it's secure. Connecting the lights. Remove the protective plastic covering to expose your main inputs. This has two small screws fastened to the sides of the connector box. Remove the plastic caps. Connect the negative, which is either black or blue, and positive, which is either red or brown. Securely fasten wires to the connector block. The external DC plug box will also be connected to these inputs. Replace the plastic caps and protective plastic covering. Take the ES27 light fitting and unscrew it to expose the two connectors. Place the back cover over the cable and carefully strip the wires so that you have your two exposed wires. Securely connect your positive and negative wires to the respective terminals. Then screw the back cover back onto the fitting. Place the bulb through the lampshade and screw carefully into the fitting. Connecting the pull switch. Open the pull switch by unscrewing the two screws. These two points form the switch on your positive line or the brown cable. Carefully strip only the outer casing of the cable without damaging the inner cables. Cut only the positive or brown wire and strip to expose the copper wire. Take the pull switch base and feed the cable through it. Twist or neaten up any exposed copper cables before tightening into the pull switch. Then connect the wires to each point on the pull switch. Make sure your connections are tight. Find a suitable area for the pull switch and firmly attach it with provided screws. Use the provided cable clips to neatly secure your cable. Make sure it is secure. Attach the security light to the outside of the building in the desired location. Connecting the battery and working with the battery box. Peel the protective covering off your battery box. Place the battery in the center of the box. Make sure you know which side is positive and negative. Unscrew the gland at the bottom of the battery cable which comes from the DB box. Feed the cables through the battery box. Slide the screw back over the cable securing it to the top of the battery box. Make absolutely sure that the battery box lid does not touch the battery terminals at any time. Connect the red to the positive or plus sign on the battery and the black to the negative or minus sign on the battery. Hand tighten first, but make sure you tighten it securely with the correct spanner. Make absolutely sure that the battery box lid does not touch the battery terminals when replacing the battery box roof. Secure all the screws back on the battery box using the correct size Allen key. Fuses. Three fuses are provided with the system. The main system fuse goes into the center of the box. The protective load fuse goes into the fuse holder located on the side of the unit. The battery spade fuse is located on the battery cable directly under the box. Once all fuses are connected to the system, the system will power on and be functional. Test that all lights and equipment are working. Connecting the solar panel to the DC microgrid. Find a suitable location on the roof as near above the position of the DB box as possible. Your panel must be facing north at all times and preferably 
above a strong roof beam or truss. Open the back of the panel. You will see a plus and a minus sign for your cable points. The red goes to the plus and the black goes to the minus. Unscrew the cap covers and feed the positive cable through the cap cover and then into the junction box. Secure the cable and make sure it's tight. Do the same for the red and the black wires. Reattach the cover cap for the junction box. Connect the positive from the solar panel to the positive on the side of the DB box where it's marked panel input and repeat this process with the negative or black cable. Ignoring the black cable in the middle of the connector as this is just a through connection to your system. Once connected, replace the protective plastic covering. In order to maximize the lifespan of the system, do not connect any additional appliances without consulting with your dealer or visit the Specialized Solar System website for further information.